Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you some more Funko sodas, also Funko mystery minis. So I finally got my entire order from back in September of 2023 for the six Funko sodas for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem movie. I unfortunately missed the window to get Rocksteady, Master Splinter, and Bebop from the Funko store. But I did want to add these from Five Below in, and of course touch base again on the Funko Mystery Minis, which are the same set as the ones at Five Below right now. So before we start opening up the Funko Sodas for Mutant Mayhem, I wanted to touch base on these again. These two Funko Mystery Minis, I opened these as YouTube Shorts, and we ended up getting the 1 in 6 common Donatello and the 1 in 6 common Michelangelo. So what's really cool is sometimes with the Funko Mystery Mini sets, you get, I think it's, what, 12? in total for the mystery minis with different rarities like 1 in 6, 1 in 24, 1 in 72. And then 5 Below will release a special set which are 5 Below exclusives, which are not Funko mystery minis, they're just Funko minis. And in the mini set, you can see exactly which one you're getting and they're $5 a piece. They are the 1 in 6 commons from the Funko mystery mini set. So let me show you guys both the difference. This one is the Funko Mini, and this one is the Funko Mystery Mini. So if that was a little too fast, go ahead and pause it again. But like this set, it's all of the commons and the two 1 and 12s. So the four Ninja Turtles, Master Splinter and April O'Neil, which Master Splinter and April O'Neil are both 1 in 12s. This set, the ones you can see from 5 Below, does not include Baxter Stockman, Krang, Rocksteady, Bebop, Shredder, or Casey Jones. But I wanted to show these off because I bought the mystery minis, just two of them. Unfortunately, I saw the entire box at Target at one point, thought it was silly, didn't buy them, and then later I got into Funko Mystery Minis. I still regret not buying the entire box of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I saw at Target. So let me just show off these figures real quick and then we can unbox the Funko sodas together. The first one, of course, being the Funko Mystery Mini of Donatello. So Donatello looks really cool. Purple is now my newest favorite color, of course. Back when I was a kid, orange was my favorite color and that's because it was Michelangelo. But now that I'm older and I have two daughters, my favorite color changed to purple, mainly because I didn't want to see them dressed in pink all the time, so I dressed them in purple. I love Donatello as a character, and this Funko Mystery Mini does look really cool. All right, so we'll put Donatello back here, and of course, everyone's favorite, Mikey. Michelangelo looks really awesome and he's got his orange bandana going on. Like I said, as a kid, orange was my favorite color because of Michelangelo. Everybody loved Mikey because he was always in such a good mood, right? He's got his nunchucks. The pose looks really nice. And I really love that these Funko Mystery Minis, they went with the character designs from the 90s Nickelodeon show. Very cool. So I'll put Mikey back here. And then the two that I ended up getting at Five Below for only $5 a piece were the Funko Minis of the ones we're missing. So Leonardo and Raphael. So getting Leonardo out of the box, you can see that quality-wise, it is exactly the same figurine as the Funko Mystery Minis. This is the one out of six Leonardo Common from the set. So if you ended up getting some of the Funko Mystery Minis and you were missing one of the commons, you could wait for it to be re-released in this set and then just buy it with the window so you're knowing exactly which one you're buying. And I believe when these Funko Mystery Minis came out, they were more than $10. So getting the one you want, even though it's a common, for $5 seems like a really great deal. Very cool, and of course, the last one we're gonna go over is Raphael. So here we go, we got Raphael, the red, 
I was going to say Power Ranger. <laughs> we have the Red Ninja Turtle, Raphael. The angriest Ninja Turtle out of all four of them. I remember as a kid, I my least favorite character was Raphael. I didn't like him at all. And what's really weird is the older that I got, the more I identified with Raphael. And now, I would say Raphael is actually my favorite character out of the four Ninja Turtles. It's funny how that works, huh? Like, the older you get... You end up becoming a different person, where as a kid, Mikey was my favorite, and now as an adult, Raphael's my favorite. So I'm super excited about this. I have been sitting on these for a while. I ordered them back in September from Box Lunch. I used Box Bucks, so I got them all for half off, and it just took them all the way until like late December for them to finally ship these to me. But like I said, I missed out on Bebop, Rocksteady, and Master Splinter. I'm not sure what's going on with Funko. Master Splinter was supposed to be a Target exclusive. Rocksteady was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive. And Bebop was supposed to be an Amazon exclusive. None of them went to their retailers. And I did not even think about putting in any notifications on the Funko store because honestly, since I've been so busy with grad school, I haven't checked the Funko store very often. But let's get these guys out of the way and we'll start knocking out the Funko sodas for the Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. And let's go ahead and start with the villain himself, Superfly. I'm pretty excited about collecting this set. I do like Ninja Turtles and I wish it was the 90s Ninja Turtles. But I thought the Mutant Mayhem movie was pretty cool. I did love the voice for Superfly, obviously. So let's see which one did we get. Did we get the common or the chase? The common being the regular vinyl version of Superfly. And the chase, I believe, is metallic. So let's see which one did we get. Uh, it looks like we got the common. And with Superfly, it is also super disappointing his antenna has broken off. That is too bad. But we got the common version of Superfly. This guy is horribly not symmetrical, which I believe the character is supposed to be like this. Drives me crazy though. And I think it does, it bothers me a lot that the antenna broke inside, but it is a super detailed Funko Soda. It looks really cool and it does look very much like the villain. All right, so we'll put Superfly here in the front. Unfortunately, his antenna broke off, but we'll ignore that for right now. We'll keep going with April O'Neil. All righty, guys. So this one is the new version of April O'Neil. Tell me, what do you guys think of the new character design for April O'Neil? This one, the common, is going to be a regular vinyl, and the chase is going to be another metallic variant. So let's see which one did we get, the common or the chase, and we have the common. And we have the common version of April O'Neil. I love what she's wearing. I gl I'm glad that they gave her the yellow jacket that is iconic to April O'Neil. I'm pretty sure the purple rimmed glasses is unique to her as well as a character. I love the freckles on the face. That is a really nice touch. And the beanie looks really cool on this character. So we're running two for two on commons. The next one we'll go with is going to be Leonardo. So we got Leonardo, the boss man himself. What's really cool about these, even though they are unnumbered, there's no limited piece count on these, all of the Ninja Turtles are going to be the regular commons, but also glow in the dark chases. Let's go. I really want some Chase Ninja Turtles. What did we get? The common or the chase? And we got ourselves a common. And Leo, even though it is a common, looks really, really cool with its very bright and vibrant colors. And one thing, I'm not sure you guys can see it in the video. I love that the character design, the sculpting on the face shows a lot of cut straight edges as if it was cut out of clay. It looks really cool. So we got Leo here with one sword and we'll keep going with Michelangelo. So of course, I'm really hoping for the chase on this one. Mikey, the common is going to be him in regular vinyl and the chase is going to be a glow in the dark. 
All right, let's see which one did we get. Did we get the common or did we get the glow in the dark chase? We got ourselves the common. So we got the common version of Mikey. And what I love the most about these Funko sodas is that all four of the Ninja Turtles are a different shade of green. And I think that looks really cool, especially that they actually went with teenagers and Mikey's got braces. It looks so cool. All right, so we'll put Mikey here and we will get our next one, which is Raphael. All right, so we're sitting four for four on commons. I am really overdue for a chase. I'm really hoping that Raphael here is gonna be my boy. The common is going to be Raphael as a vinyl and the chase is going to be a glow in the dark. All right, so which one did we get? Did we get the common or did we get the chase? We got ourselves another common. Raphael does look really cool and what I really like about this character design is with the new Raphael. They made him a lot bigger than the other three Ninja Turtles. And what's really cool is instead of just having an eye covering, he's got his entire head covered with his red bandana. I love this design. Super, super bad luck. We are sitting on five commons and our last one is gonna be Donatello. All right, like I said, we're sitting on five out of five commons. We have got to have better luck, right? We got Donatello here. The common is going to be regular vinyl. And the chase is going to be a glow in the dark. All right, so what did we get? Did we get the common or did we get the chase? Looks like we got ourselves another common. Oh no, we got the chase. Oh, this is so much cooler than glow in the dark, guys. I thought it was glow in the dark. It's actually translucent. It's translucent Donatello with purple glow. This, wow, this by far is one of my favorite chases. Even though this one is an unnumbered one, this style of having it as a translucent is so awesome. I am pretty sure if I put this under black light, it will glow like a crystal. There we go, guys. We got ourselves the chase for Donatello. So I'm really happy. I was really worried we were going to do an entire set of comments, which would be okay. But now when I'm going for the second ones, I just need to get one more Donatello because I'll most likely get the common but I'm gonna have to keep trying for the rest of the set on these guys. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe with the button down below and hit the bell while you're there so you're notified when the new episodes are dropped. Also, consider leaving a like. That is super important to keep these series going. And leave a comment. Did you guys like the Mutant Mayhem movie? And again, thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next episode.